Okay, in this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach a camera to an object that is constrained to the path so that we can have point of view looking through this vehicle here. So first, we want to create a camera that is aligned with this uh, drone. So to do that, first select the drone. I'm going to go to the first frame of the animation and then I'm going to press Shift S cursor to select it. Then I'm going to press Shift A and create a new camera. So the camera should be in the same position. So you can see the camera is inside the drone right now. And I'm going to adjust the camera, just rotate this camera until it is aligned with the point of view. All right. So go to the top view and then maybe just adjust and then just rotate until the camera is looking through the drone okay so now how do you activate uh, what the camera is seeing okay so first I'm going to activate the main camera which is uh, let's go to material preview if I go to press 0 now I'm looking through the main camera then I'm gonna press N go under view and lock camera to view for the time being and then I'm going to just zoom out right now my clipping is a little bit aggressive so I'm going to uh, reduce the clipping or increase the clipping distance to 100,000 meters and I should be able to see my drone okay right now my clip start is I'm gonna make it smaller and now I should be able to see the drone Okay, so my starting view is here and okay, I'm going to temporarily unlock first unlock the camera to view so that I can zoom in a little bit closer then I can lock the view press N to hide and let's say I'm going to start my camera view uh, from here, from the external view maybe around here you can do something in the timeline I'm going to switch over to the timeline view here under the timeline you can set a marker right now I need to set my timeline I'm gonna press home under the timeline go to the marker and I'm gonna say um, add a marker All right and then I'm going to bind the camera to the marker so uh, the new camera that was created uh, was selected that's why it jumps over so let me just undo that I want to bind it to the current selected camera which is the main camera so let's do marker and bind cameras to marker so that means right now from this frame I'm looking at what the main camera is looking at so now I'm going to switch over to the other camera but I have not I have not parented the camera to the drone yet so I'm going back to the frame 500 okay right now I need to get out of the camera lock just unlock the camera view so that I can get out and select the newly created camera then shift select the main camera body and then press ctrl p and then uh, keep it to object so right now if i were to uh, look through the camera right now the camera is part of the child so if i animate forward the camera will follow okay so let's go back to the camera view again uh, let's go to zero in the number pad so from here to here to 550 I want it to be at looking at this camera so now I'm going to select the new camera all right and then I'm going to go to marker add marker and then I'm going to go to marker and bind camera to the markers so right now I'm looking through the camera that is inside the drone okay so I'm gonna to go to press 0 to go to camera view right now obviously you can see the camera view is very limited uh, so I'm going to zoom in or change the point of view the focal length so make sure the camera is selected go to the camera properties and you can make the view wider by adjusting the focal length and also I want to select the camera and move it about okay you can press G to move it 
press G followed by ZZ so that you can push it forward so now you're inside the drone in the point of view of the camera and now we can play back animation and then see what happens so as we begin we are looking through the main camera first okay and then after frame 550 boom now we are looking through the bound camera okay so that's how you actually program or bind the camera to using markers in different parts of the timeline all right so anyway this animation actually has a pause and then before the drone flies past okay let me just adjust the animation a little bit by going to the graph editor animation editor here then control tab to go to graph editor and i'm going to change this two keyframes into a okay let's see if i can press t and then change it to a bezier it's already a bezier type uh let me see how easy adjust and move this okay then now let's watch the animation again playback and then it's going to gradually slow down it's going to hang in there and then it's going to move forward again all right and you can also animate the camera in this case the secondary camera i'm going to select the camera and then i'm going to set a keyframe i'm going to set a uh, with the camera selected i'm going to set a rotation so i can rotate it along the uh, z axis or R Y Y so that I can look to the left and then I can press I and say rotation keyframe so as flies you can look to the left and then I'm going to look to the right R Y Y and then press I to set another rotation keyframe so as it moves forward I will gradually rotate R Y Y why why because if i want to rotate along the y-axis of the camera the local camera axis then press i to set the rotation keyframe so now we have an animation and external view then it's switch over to the internal view and then back into the drone inside again okay i hope you, uh, these tips are useful for you and uh Thanks for watching.